Oh yeah, um, JC here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are in Dale Street in Liverpool today. Um, we're going to go for a pavement slash tourist audit. So we're going to take a gentle scro stroll along Dale Street, see what we can see, sample the air, have a look at the scenery. Uh, erected in honour of the Fair Majesties by the citizens of Liverpool. Queen's Wake Channel, Engineering Chief, uh, Basil Mott, world's largest underwater road tunnel, constructed 1925 to 1934, the Queen's Way Channel. So there's, that's one of the, the, the tunnels that's closest to Dale Street. The next one is the King's Way. <clears throat> the Queen's Way is kind of serpentine in its trajectory, having lots of uh, bends and shit like that. Um, whereas the King's Way, it's more direct. So our target today is the Liver building. So um, this is part of the 10 part series. As you can see there's uh, some huge birds there. Very clean birds, hello. Um, they're very clean birds. So basically we're gonna head down to, uh, we're gonna head down to, uh, to the dock area. And we're going to see the Liver building. So there, see a mottled seagull. So that's a, a younger one. Just going past Pest Preston Street on our left. Hatton Garden on our right. And car carrying on down Dale Street. And if this is not a tourist audit, then I don't know what is. Do you know what I mean? So, um, the buildings, you can see, are quite grand. You can see, uh, see the, the sort of spire there. It's really kind of grand, isn't it? Yeah. So, in terms of history, I can't speak much about history because I'm a late man, but I understand that Liverpool is a, a sea, um, a seaport, a gateway to the, to the world, and even more so a couple of hundred years ago. So, uh, at the moment, we don't see many huge vessels come in, like probably they used to be, but there certainly is quite a few, so, um, yeah. So there's a little bit of building work going on. Cheap side on our right, so it's L2. The double tree on our left. So um, a few odd shops here that, you know, signs of maybe slight economic uh, stagnation. But really, it is thriving down here. Union flags there. Yeah, if you can see that, make that out on the camera. Um, yeah. Vernon Street coming up on the right. 
for the Q Park, Dale Street car park. Yeah, on our right. So basically, anyone new to Liverpool, I would ask them to head to Dale Street and then walk down from here. It's a nice sort of uh, place to start the journey. And uh, that man gave a very kind look to the, uh, to the guy on the street asking for money, asking for change. So, uh, and I'd say this is a very kind city. We've seen lots of foreigners come in through the years. And uh, of course in the potato famine, there's a lot of Irish that came over and settled here. Maybe some of them thought it was New York already. And uh, yeah. So you used to see an influx of people. Liverpool obviously involved heavily in the slave trade, one with it being a port. But you also got um, some of the street names. I know it's commemorating anti-slave uh, anti-slave, what should I say, proponents? anti-slave uh, campaigners, days of old. Um, I think one of them's uh, possibly Sir William Wilberforce, I believe. I might, might be wrong in that. And some of the street names bear the mark of um, a seafaring nature. We have uh, Seaman Street, in South Liverpool, we have Salop Street, North Liverpool. We have the ship roads named after various uh, military ships uh, and passenger ships. I, I possibly stand connect, corrected. They may have only been passenger ships, um, such as the Lusitania, Mauritania. Uh, they. Um, there's a whole handful of names commemorating the ships that sank during the Second World War, killing many, many people um, on board due to enemy action from the Axis troops. So let's see the, the skyline there. And up on that tower there, you can see AD 1903. And what looks like a sundial, of course. Sundials did uh, feature quite heavily, you know, before, before there were mechanical clocks. That was the way people saw the time. So ahead, this building coming up with the pillars is, I believe, uh, Liverpool Town Hall. Exchange Street East coming up on my right. One way system in action. Look at that lovely bin here. That, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at the relief on that liver bird there. The bird of Liverpool. So, um, number one, Dale Street, <clears throat> um, RBS building. Let's have a little look to see if we can see the history of that. So, it looks like there's one, another insurance building, and it was the site of the first town hall, uh, 1525 to 16. 73. Wow, the first town hall. Who'd have guessed that? The first first town hall. Wow. And now, 
Liverpool's current town hall, I understand, is this building here. So as we cross the road, which is called High Street. Come to more of a cafe quarter. This is Castle Street, Castle Street, numerous restaurants. And, uh, and the lovely uh, Italian restaurant, I believe, Riva, which I understand is a very good one. So if you're coming to Liverpool and you want some Italian food, uh, it comes recommended. You see the Italian flag, flag there as well. So it must be kosher. The um, building here looks rather, rather good. So it even says Town Hall on there, so I wasn't wrong, was I? Uh, my informant did not let me down. You can see that. Wow. So we carry on further down. Uh, it's now Dale Street, it turns into Water Street, I believe. Exchange Street West is currently closed. Uh, we are in early 2023 CE at the moment. Time of filming. Uh, that bar, uh, restaurant on the corner is called Mowgli. I believe it's soon to, soon to be closing, I understand. Look, we've got another live bird here. So I don't know really much about the live bird apart from um, it's used to um, as a symbol for Liverpool. It's nice. Oh yeah, the carving there on the wall. Look at that. Some cherubs and you can almost see the uh, the history there on. Just written on the walls, it's like serpentine man. It's not a mermaid, but it's almost as good as a mermaid, isn't it? Nice disabled sign there. Disabled access Exchange Street West. So this particular building is Martin's Bank building. So who knows, maybe it was a, an insurance company insuring those cargoes of ships that traveled the oceans. Uh, yeah. Rumford Street on our right. So you can hear the uh, seagulls chirping in the sky, or screeching in the sky, sky I should say. Another opulent, very opulent building there. Look at the inside of that. Just look at the uh, vaulted ceiling there. I think it's called vaulted. That's insane. Hooters, which I understand is a, a tit, tit club, breast club. Uh, it's a shame it's not a bollock club. I mean, I'm sure lots of women would love it to be a bollock club. Uh, those are not fed up with bollocks. But unfortunately, it is a tit club. So uh, I think with a, only a small amount of success. So. Looks like it's more of a football place at the moment. Pop. So what else do we have? Reliance House on our right. West Africa House, just to the left. So all these places are reminiscent of seafaring sort of city. Still on Water Street, the tower building. I'm not sure what this does there, but it's got some kind of bird on the crest there uh, with the Latin Libertas on the top there. It's kind of hard to make out, but it is there. An ultra lace. I see. So 
what they say when they come out of ultra lays, uh, the laser people. There's a um, that white tower there in front of us is, I believe, a ventilation shaft for the Queen's Waste Tunnel. Might be wrong, might be mistaken, but I believe it is. It's green man, so left, right, or right across. We're looking for the library building. And it's right in front of us, so how stupid of me. So it's actually, at first glance, there's something like a decapitated Empire States building. It reminds me of that. So somebody's whipped the top of the Empire States on and plonked it down. Uh, at first glance, that's what it reminds me of. It'd be interesting to know when the Empire States were built, when the Liver building was built, and if there's any similar similarity between the dates. So, I mean, they're 20 years out, 10 years out. So, the Liver building at George's Dock Gates L2. And a fancy little gothic number there. Look. How cute, that's, it's almost sinister in amongst all the shiny glass and uh, like economic banking, banking cord, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's definitely got a name there. Uh, Liverpool being split into different quarters like George and Quarter and uh, I think Learning Quarter. Was it academic course or something like that? Various other things. So, so let's go somewhere. Ah, Pierhead. Pierhead was the site of the Goths um, uh, about 20 years ago. They used to hang around here. Uh, but that's a subject for another video if we get around to it. The Goths in Liverpool. Where have the Goths gone? Okie doke, well, I think, I think of that we're gonna come to a spot now that would be great to fly Jimmy. So there is no rain. Just gonna check, we'll double check flight restrictions in the area. Let's have a look. On drone assist, altitude angel. Okay. Okay. Let's check it on my on my other phone. But this is uh, definitely the live building. So the live building, in a nutshell, I think, is all to do with. The, the maritime history of the city and possible financing thereof. Um, the Liver building, I believe, is owned, uh, over 50% of it is owned by Everton the Football Club, I understand. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't think it's Liverpool Football Club. So um, a huge, iconic building right in the heart of Liverpool and of course Everton's got its grounds coming up uh, I think somewhere to the right of me along the docks and across there we can see Wirral the Wirral okay, like, well I think this is as good a place as any to, uh, to release Jimmy from his comfy dungeon <laughs> So let's let's go ahead and do that then, shall we? So unload Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy? How are you? I'm okay, Master. I was here for a long time, Master. You're okay, Jimmy. We are now. <coughs> Jimmy's battery is looking good. Okay. Um, 
Now, what I have done is I've forgot the phone, so uh, what this means <laughs> is I'm going to switch to the drone footage. So uh, let's do that right now. Two thousand years later. Lads, as it turned out, I've managed to jerry rig something so I can keep a live feed going as I fly. So it might be handy if we get any encounters. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that open. Just updated my app. <clears throat> Weather looks good. <clears throat> There's a fifty percent chance of rain, so I'm just gonna keep an eye out for that. Obviously, if it gets too wet, there's no spitting out at the moment. But obviously, I don't like to fly um, even when it's spitting. So, app has been updated. All good. Looking good here. Looking great. Optical flow straight, ready to fly. Uh, 14 satellites. Okay. Let's find a spot. See the live building, didn't know the live building rang. Obviously it does, that's kind of nice, isn't it? So, time now is three o'clock. Jimmy up in the air. The home Go point clear. has been updated. Please be mindful of the new return to home point. No obstacle avoidance mode. No Please fly avoidance. with caution. Okay, right, we'll go straight up in the air. Maintain a visual live in sight. Okay. So we are at 40 meters, 50 meters. Right, from here, we're just gonna do mini paramark, parana, peron, rama. We go off again. So we're at 70 meters, 80 meters. So we're at 80 meters now. Do the power armor towards the rail, towards Bootle, and back round. So let's have a look at the uh, little flyover. So I'm just keeping my hawk eyes on the drone. Just keep my nice perimeter to her. so I can maintain official line of sight. All right, now we're gonna just change the mode a bit. Just fly around, hoon around a bit. Raise the gimbal up a little bit. Let's see what's in the area. Let's see what's that lovely church. <clears throat> I 
There's the rail. High winds. Please fly with caution. Okay, we've got a bit of high winds. We're going to descend a little bit. Just spinning around a little bit, making a descent. Okay, there's a few birds around here. We just want to make sure we come down out of their way. Let's have another little little look. And the building. Let's have a little look at this clock. I think we're going to bring her down, lads. I think we've got a, we had a little understanding of what it's like. We're just going to bring Jimmy down because there are quite a few birds around, and they are seagull. Seagulls are quite bigger than Jimmy, so although Jimmy might get a strike, so we don't want that. So we're going to bring Jimmy down. Down on the floor. Come Jimmy. Landing. Okay, okey doke, and then we have it. So, lads, that was a little uh, tour of Liverpool. FPV has been turned off. And a it bit of the live building, and we'll see you in the next video. This is JC and Jimmy signing out.